Oh, that fake tan looks good. That looks really, really good, that. Ronnie's having his little post-sleep nap. He always loves a nap after a good 12 hours sleep. He's been up this morning. He got up when we got up. God, it was like quarter to seven. We had quite the lie in this morning. Had his milk. He watched uh, Mr. Bean, which I've realised he really enjoys. And so do I. I really like it. I had a bro. Stefan and Summer were getting ready for school and work. And then I've come to realise that there was nothing in the fridge already prepped for dinners today because I'm off work today. Even though I'm at home, I always like prep something for my dinner. So I'll make Stefan something for his dinner and then I'll make myself something similar. So anyway, I've currently got a chicken in the bag in the oven. It's nearly done now. One sec. Because that way I've always prepared myself something for my dinner because it then stops me from either not eating or eating shit. But the whole purpose of this vlog that I'm starting today, I am implementing some healthy habits into my life and my routine. I've had a realisation for the past few weeks, but more so over the last um, sort of week or so, that I've really been neglecting myself internally. I feel like I've sort of lost myself a little bit. Like when I first started these vlogs, obviously it was a few, quite a few years ago and I was during lockdown. The whole reason for me starting them was that I was on this like happiness journey to, to become genuinely happy. Everything I did was for me. Now bearing in mind in that time, I was single, I was still living with my mom. I had absolutely no responsibilities whatsoever other than to make myself happy. And I feel like it's important that although now I have a family, I have a house, I have responsibilities, that I don't lose that. Because for me, if I'm not running at 100%, then how can I expect to be looking after everybody else? Making them happy, does that make sense? So if I'm running myself into the ground, then there's no hope for anybody else. I am, like I said, implementing little things for me. And if that means waking up, an hour or so before Ronnie does so that I can work towards my goals and you know like work on my YouTube. Another part of another huge part of my life is fitness which it's not something I really talk about a lot on here. No I do talk about it a lot but I don't really show you too much into it just because I still, I still feel like I wing everything I do and so I haven't got like a structure, I haven't got a plan, I haven't got right guys this is what we're doing. Do you know what I mean? I feel like everything I do I'm doing it not at a hundred percent. Just literally wing everything and there is so many f one million and one things that that I'm doing that I'm go that's going through my head as we all are. I wanted this vlog to focus on healthy habits, work working on our goals, working on happiness from the inside. Another thing I'm trying to do at the minute is not spend loads and loads of money. I'm trying to find like activities and things to do that don't cost the earth. That is hopefully the premise of this this here vlog what you're watching right now. Anyway, I really need to set off. I'm going meeting Nick this morning at uh, a play centre. Oh, he's waking up, he's waking up. Honestly, he looks about 15 years old in that. I can't go up. I need to get Ronnie in the car, quick, quick, quick sticks. <laughs> Good afternoon. So the healthy habits may have to take a little a little pause because my mum just rang me to say, do you want anything from Green Elk Cheese? <laughs> and I can confirm that I am going to have a steak pie. Ronnie's going to have a little flaky pasta of which he probably won't eat. So I probably will end up with that. But can I just say, I have had some stomach problems. I've probably mentioned it in every single uh, vlog over the past few weeks and so my diet is not helping that it's not it's really not I do think there is p potentially something that I need to be cutting out of my diet at the moment because of 
my, my stomach recently i don't know what's going on you don't need to know but we've been to soft play this morning it was really really nice to catch up with nick and maggie and then i've just nipped to home sense to get there's a name for this thing what i've bought but i'm not quite sure what the name of it is and it is currently in the boot so i will need to show you when i get home it's not actually for me it's for stefan it's stefan's birthday coming up in october nearing the end of october he mentioned he wanted this something for crushing stuff up i'm really not sure what he's trying to crush in the kitchen but he said like you can get these balls and like a thing for crushing you know like matching he said i will have to show you what it is because i don't know the name for it so yeah, I've just, for his birthday, we don't really go, obviously since having Ronnie and going crazy on buying gifts and stuff is not something we really tend to do. I would rather, personally, I'd rather receive things that are more practical and Stefan is exactly the same. He definitely wouldn't thank me for spending a fortune on something that he doesn't need or want. Happy Friday. Miss Rachel has been replaced by Mr Bean. Praise, praise the Lord. He drove me potter and I couldn't cope with it. Anyway, Ronnie seems to really enjoy Mr Bean, so we're sticking with that for now. Haven't we got a just boy? Ronnie has been in a wonderful mood this morning, which is always nice. It's currently three minutes to eight on this hair Friday morning. And today, well, first healthy habit of the day. I really should be uh, getting ready at this point. We've got up today at about half five. The healthy habits are, uh, uh, what's the word? It all depends on what kind of goals you want to achieve. And for me, my main goal is obviously become successful on YouTube. That is like something that I've always, always wanted and something that I'm obviously always working towards. And just be successful in general and self-sufficient. And so, in order for me to do that, I have got to be making the time to do those things and obviously from the minute Ronnie wakes up to the minute Ronnie goes to sleep, he's my main priority. And so I have to think, well, at what point am I going to use my time wisely and work towards my goals? I've got to do that when Ronnie's still asleep or when Ronnie naps. And obviously... Again, for me, everybody's situation's different, but for me, not only I'm looking after Ronnie, I've got a house to run, I'm also working. We have a couple of houses on Airbnb, so I do all the beds and... Have I got a stain on this top? So I do all the beds, all the washing for that. Like, it is go, 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 go from the minute I wake up. I had to decide on what is it that I want to achieve and what do I need to do in, in order to do that? the only way I can sort of schedule time in to do my editing and things like that is to get up early. Stefan's goal at the minute, or one of Stefan's goals at the minute is to obviously get to the gym. That is another one of my goals, but that comes later for me. So we work together, we work as a team. And so we work, both wake up early in the morning, Stefan goes off to the gym and then I sit and do my editing. So that is something that, that needs to be a non-negotiable in our daily routine and in our lives in order for us to get to where we want to be with our goals. I'm feeling really, really good today. I got up, I came downstairs, we had a coffee because that's what we always do in the morning. That is another non-negotiable. And I did about 45 minutes worth of editing because I've finished two videos now. So I've got them ready to go up over the next couple of days. So I'm really, really happy. I'm really, really quite proud of myself, actually. It's a really, really nice feeling. So after that, Stefan left. He was just stirring, like he was just waking up and I thought, right, just 10 minutes, I've got 10 minutes. So I jumped in the shower and I had a cold shower. Now, if you've followed me for a long time, you'll know that cold showers is something that I do on a regular basis, did do on a regular basis. Even when, whilst I was pregnant, I was cold showering. Going off on a tangent, but if you are pregnant or if ever you become pregnant and you're watching this and you need this little nugget of information, don't shock your body into doing something that it doesn't already do. So if you are 30 odd weeks pregnant and you don't already cold shower, then I wouldn't recommend starting doing it. But if it's something that your body is used to and you're, you you built up a resilience to, do, to doing it, then do it. But I always, always, always recommend cold showering. It's the most amazing, most exhilarating, most incredible thing that you will ever do. So we cold shower at night and we cold shower in the morning. It seems extreme and everybody's version of realistic is very, very different. So please don't just use me as a template because what is realistic 
to to me isn't realistic to the next person but if you can take anything from this like if you can take anything at all when you've had a shower you've had your normal shower because you might love a shower a normal shower a nice warm shower like who doesn't love a nice warm shower but if you're wanting to step up and just feel exhilarated in the morning or at the end of the night whatever turn your shower onto cold right at the end and honestly like you will not regret it it's like that feeling of like pushing yourself to go onto a roller coaster and you know you you're like well i am anyway when i'm strapped in and you know there's no going back like you you've got absolutely no choice it's that is taken out of your control you sort of need to take that mindset and you're just coming up over that 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 is that is the what is going through my mind just before i step into that cold shower there is no going back for me the shower is on cold i'm strapped in there is no going back just going over that hill like my stomach is turning over and i get under it and it's there is absolutely no regret you will never ever regret having a cold shower like you feel incredible anyway so that's Healthy habit number two. So healthy habit number one, we've started off, we're getting up nice and early to achieve our goals. Number two is we're having a cold shower because you feel incredible. So after my cold shower, me and Summer got Ronnie up this morning. Stefan was obviously still at the gym. We brought Ronnie down. I sat him in his high chair whilst he had his milk, whilst I had dinners for today, I breakfast this morning. Standard wage, we just have Weetabix, like you can't go wrong with Weetabix. Summer and Stefan have been packed up and shipped off, off they've gone. And now we're left with me and Ronnie. It is four minutes past eight. I'm going to be dropping Ronnie off with my dad this morning so that me and my mum is coming as well. We're going to the Airbnb to strip the beds and get it all nice and ready for the next guest. I'm going to nip to Aldi at some point just before we get to the house as well to pick up some flowers and some wine to leave at the house because it's always a nice little touch. So yeah, I should have been ready four minutes ago, but you know. That is, that is a little toxic trait and a very unhealthy habit for me. Like, trying to be on time is is a, a little mini goal of mine that I am really, really, really trying with. Running late, being late, stress of rushing, like, it's just not, not good. Obviously, I don't need to be anywhere at a very specific time this morning. But I did tell my dad I'd get there between eight and a half past to drop running up. Stand by what I said. If I'm going to be somewhere on time. What I have started doing though is telling people a half an hour slot. I'm going to be there between eight and half past, so I'm probably going to get there at half past. But listen, it's better than me saying I'm going to be there at eight o'clock and me only getting there at half past. Do you see what I'm saying? So anyway, yeah, I've got lots on the agenda today. I'm just packing money up. My dad does have Weetabix at his house, but I always like to just send him off with a Weetabix just in case. He's got his water, he's got his um, boiling water for his milk, a couple of milks, fresh bottle. There's a dummy and my dad's got wipes and nappies. Ronnie just needs a, an outfit. He's screaming at me. Woohoo! This is residential parking only though on the side. What is that? Yeah. It must be called flats. Are willing to do the things that the others won't do. In order meditate. to have the things tomorrow, others oh, won't. Close things. your eyes. And that I can't means meditate putting in the too work shit on floor. and loving it. You're ruining my vibe. No one is going to <laughs> listen to the words. We get one opportunity to come this way. We get one shot. We got one life to live. Life is That's too short. Much. I want you to close your eyes and visualize your dream. Stop waiting until you see it. You're closer than you've ever been before. You have so it's an hour long that, so we'll go out sit here for an hour and listen to that. Hour? Oh, no. <laughs> But you're supposed to listen to that every morning. For an hour? Well... I've got bloody sound to do that. It's not really the attitude, mother. <laughs> no, so that is a, a video. Uh, my friend Nick sent me that video a long time ago and it's something that you should listen to all the time. And it's called Win the Morning, Win the Day, Listen Every Day, Morning Motivation. I came to do the beds on Sunday. I put, sorry, I put that on in the car on the way to the house and then I had it on the whole time whilst I was stripping the beds and you know doing all that and I had a really good day on Sunday and I do genuinely believe that was because I had all those affirmations in my head and my mindset was really really good. Do you have any goals mother? I lying on a beach in Barbados. That's your goals and how do you plan to to make that to make that happen? delete the Amazon app. <laughs> That's a really, really good start. 
Honestly, if, if you um, like, had a look at how much my mum spends on Amazon, because my mother actually lines Jeff Bezos's <laughs> pockets. So we're just finding out how did Amazon begin. Amazon was founded in the garage of Bezos's rented home in Bellevue. But his parents invested a quarter of a million in the startup. It's not what you're not very fucking inspiring if you ask me. <laughs> Are you going to start me up with that a quarter of a million yeah, pounds? Yeah, of course, yeah. As you know, I've roped my mum in today to help me change the beds at the house. Ronnie is obviously with my dad, but the people that the, that were in that have been in this week have only checked out at 10 o'clock and we were a little bit early, which shock, bloody horror. I did that by accident. So we just went into the coffee house around the corner and had a little brew whilst we waited for them to leave. And then the next people are coming in and coming anytime from three o'clock today. So we're gonna get in, get the beds done, continue with the rest of our day with our good vibes. Yeah. You feeling inspired? Yep. <laughs> I've actually just washed my hair for a change, hence why it looks like this. The healthy habits are in full swing and are continuing. And honestly, like the power of the mindset is insane because for the last three or four days that I've been adopting these healthy habits, hi, I, I have actually really felt a difference and seen a difference. I'll tell you what is killing my vibe, this hair. is Saturday, Stefan's at the gym. Um, we got up this morning when he had his bottle and then I've I put him down and I've had a shower and obviously it got ready I'll be going to the gym myself when Stefan comes back I thought one of the healthy habits that I really want to include in my days is meditation now this is something I've toyed with the idea of for a number of years and if you've watched my channel from from the beginning you'll know that I've tried to introduce meditating into my life but it's just one of them things where I just don't, I don't prioritise it and I think I'm not doing that, I've not got time. It doesn't actually take a lot of time and meditating can be anything like, you can do it whilst you're in the shower. Yesterday, there was a clip of me and my mum in the car and I was sort of taking the mic, but when I'm on my own, you know, don't, no disrespect to anybody that I'm with, in order for me to meditate properly, I've got to be on my own, I've got to be in my own space, in my own, you know, in my own headspace and not thinking of outside noise. And so when I'm in the car, that's most of the time when that's when I'm on my own, if I'm in the car and that's when I will meditate. That's when I will do stuff for work on my phone, like little posts on Instagram for Enhanced, which is my facial business. Stuff like that I do when I'm on my own in the car because as soon as I come through the door, and I'm sure many others are like this, I'm then distracted and pulled here, there and everywhere. And so being in the car for me is where I would tend to meditate as such. Yeah, obviously I'm not in the car now, but Stefan's not here and Ronnie's asleep. Making meditating part of my routine and part of a non-negotiable is really important. And I think it's something that I really do want to really work on. My friend Nick, who also has a YouTube channel, I'll link her channel down below. She bought me this book for my birthday, which is The Greatest Manifestation Book is the one written by you. And it's written by Vex King and Kushal. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. And I'll be honest, I haven't prioritised it. I've not prioritised journaling. That The book has been next to my bed since the minute I got it because I've had every intention. Now, my birthday was in May and we are now in October. I have started journaling and I've been doing it over the past couple of days. Now, I wouldn't just pick up a notebook and start writing down my feelings. I wouldn't do that. I have to be sort of poked and prodded and, what's the word, encouraged. And this book does exactly that. I think, well, are we on healthy habit number four or number five? But if we are on number four, then my number four is journaling. I'll show you a blank one. So you would write, you would write the date here, then you always get a really good affirmation. So today is, I am capable. <coughs> Stop it! Stop it! Well, this video is all about like healthy habits and adopting oh. healthy habits. I thought, why well, Ronnie's, Ronnie's asleep, you're at the gym. I thought I'm going to do some meditating. Okay. I'm going to meditate for a minute. And then next thing, Charlie's back and his bloody bollocks off. Your mate's knocking on fucking door. 
and now Ronnie's awake, so we're meditating, not done with vibes. He's woke up, he's not awake. He has, look, his hair's all stewiff and he's. Oh no, he might not be awake he's actually. Not awake. Can I meditate now? I'll tell you how you can meditate. This looks like your head <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, so. Back to it before Ronnie does actually wake up. Going back to the book, I'm not. I'm not going to obviously go through it all, but there is a little section in it that is my high vibe hacks. This bit it says this page is perfect to turn to whenever you need to pick me up. So if you're having a little bit of a bad day, your vibrations are low. Come to this page, and th that gives you six different methods of giving yourself a bit of a boost. You can put some of your own in. One of the the hacks on this page is to meditate and it actually gives you a QR code and when you scan it it brings up Spotify it's up a 15 minute guiding manifesting meditation Arms down. and so that's what I'm going to do this morning again in the past what's just happened there like the guy banging on the door the dog barking like that would then make me go oh, do you know what I'm not going to do it and then I, I'd go to like go back to folding washing and putting laundry away and doing whatever else like, my, my point to this is meditation might not be your thing you might not really like you might not really want to do that but choose something that's going to give you that same sort of feeling that same inner peace so like there are a thousand and one things that i could do when ronnie goes to sleep always washing that needs putting away there's always washing that needs doing i'm wanting now to take this time this 10 minutes 15 minutes whatever to just shut off from everything else and focus on purely me whilst my loved ones are not around well seven's in the downstairs toilet now Imagine a bright light at the center of your body. And through this light, imagine your desires, abundance, everything that you would like to receive, being pulled and attracted to you at this point. I am. I feel like I could fall asleep now. 15 minutes of my time. I feel really, really good. I feel like I'm ready to start my day. So obviously Stephanie's in from the gym now. So I'm gonna get there myself. I'll take my camera with me. But whether I do any filming in there or not is another story because I get a little bit shy. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> come here. Is it possible if I may come into the living room? You can come into the living room now. Are your vibes okay? My vibes are really good actually. Um, do you know what was really funny? When I was laying down meditating, <laughs> I thought, I can smell shit. And then I remembered Roddy had a little explosion yesterday and pooped on the floor. Oh, and you've not cleaned it? Yeah, I cleaned it, but it still smells. My mum's got that spot You need that back thing, don't you? I don't know, my mum's got that really white compared to you now. I'm just very brown. <laughs> just further back. Oh no, you are brown. Have you been jotting down? <gasps> no, it's private. Come on, it's we don't private. keep secrets from each other. Doesn't mention... Uh, me and your favourites. <laughs> Am I not one of your favourites? Well, Shahia, um, do you want to tell tell us what your goal? What what is your goal? Have you got a goal? Have you reached it when you met me? <laughs> yeah, I reached. I've peaked. I'm at the pinnacle right now. Have you? What are your goals, though? I don't have, have you any. got a goal. You don't no. have any goals. No, I've got them all. You've always got to be striving for something. <laughs> Well, my camera battery is nearly dead, so that's really good, successful YouTubing from me. Well done, well done, me. But I have just spent the last 45 minutes filming myself meditating, so is it anyone dead? I've just pulled up at the gym now. Yeah. Today I'm training chest and shoulders, which if you'd have asked me 12 months, well, maybe not 12 months ago because I was pregnant, so I was just sort of doing everything I could. What is that noise? Is that noise? Maybe two years ago, I always used to say, I don't want to train my upper body because I don't want to be bulky. I want to be toned on my top half. And so I really actually do enjoy training upper, training chest now more than I do training legs. I hate training legs. I don't enjoy doing it, but I do it sort of, I'm trying to do it twice, sometimes three times a week, just depending. I want to achieve a bigger bottom half. 
but we are currently working. One of my main goals at the minute. I actually remembered what I was going to say now. Going to the gym is not a new healthy habit of mine. Going to the gym is something that I've obviously been doing for quite a while. It, to me, it's like a non-negotiable now. <clears throat> I don't even have to think about it. I enjoy coming. I really look forward to coming. The feeling I used to feel, say like four years ago when I used to go out on a regular basis, that's the feeling I get now when I'm going to the gym. Like, I'm excited to go. I feel good and I, en I just enjoy coming and so that is a healthy habit of, of mine that is just absolutely i don't even have to think about it again that's personal to me and that not might not make you feel that way and that is fine everybody is different find what it is that you enjoy doing that becomes your non-negotiable um that makes you feel good when you've done it oh i could smell your breath all day <laughs> Had some dinner. Well, I didn't have some dinner. I had my cocoa pops and my um, toasted tea cake and a cold oh, cup of tea, which is pretty standard. But we are going to go for a little walk now, aren't we? Going to put Ronnie in the pram, get Charlie's harness on, and then we're just going to go for a walk just around the streets where we live. Aren't we? Can I have a kiss? Mwah. So can I have another one? Can I have another kiss? Don't shit on the horn. <laughs> Get it picked up then. Can I have a kiss? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Mama. Aya. <laughs> Ronnie, look at me. Excuse me. I love you. Oh, just little boy. Had his milk. And a few snacks, aren't ya? He's gonna have a little sleep now. My mummy and daddy enjoy a little flat white from Costa Forge. Guess the order quick. Latte. Caramel latte. Ice drink. Oh my god, you got it right. So as long as they've not lived till they sit at cop the drive through, guess who people's drink. That's what we do, that's drink. what we do with our spare time now. Wait till right. the next one comes. The next one comes, you've got to guess who's gonna have an extra shot or not. I don't think people get extra shots. Did you know? Do people actually? We do. We get extra shots, but we're hard. No. Who's pooed? Please um, don't tell me Ronnie's pooed. No, it's got to be this dog farting. Ooh. Tim farting, I think. Oh, he's very, very tired, but he's not gone to sleep yet. It's dinner time, so we're having a little bit of something to eat. We've got chicken, which is leftover chicken, what I made last night. I made extra so that I knew we had a little bit of something for our dinner today. Rice and half a mozzarella ball each, which sounds a bit random, um, but I've come to terms with not overcomplicating dinners and stuff. Not everything has to be fancy as long as it's got the right components in it. Is it all right for you, that? Awesome, thank you. Whilst I've sat here, I mean, I'm also meal planning for next week, which is my next healthy habit. Being a little bit more organised, planning meals, and so whilst planning our meals for next week, I'm also writing a bit of a shopping list. It, I always go on about how I work best off a plan or off a list, but then I don't follow through with it and I don't write a list and don't write a plan. And so I don't know how I expect to make any changes. For next week, just to give you a little insight, I might even film um, a video of a week of healthy dinners or whatever. Just to give you ideas of stuff that isn't over complicated because I don't do complicated. I am not cut out for doing big fancy meals. I haven't got the time, unfortunately for Stefan. You don't get a minute, do you? Mother? I don't get a bloody minute, no, I don't bloody stop. Again, I tend to really do my shopping online, but if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know recently I literally go to the supermarket every single day. I am trying to avoid doing that because that is not, it's not healthy for the bank balance, let me tell you. I feel like I'm constantly chasing my tail. There's always something I've forgotten. So again, it's going back to that, being organised, writing lists. And so, yeah, so we're going to sit and have our dinner. Mine's gone cold now because I'm talking, talking for England. And we're going to watch a little bit more of Monsters. We're on episode seven. Really enjoying it, aren't we? Currently five past three. Ronnie is Still well away in the land of Nod. God bless him. Want some more? Say please. Please. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Mmm. Yo. 
Do you want some more? Do you want some more? Mommy. Say please. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Clever boy. Oh, he melts my heart. Oh, slow down. Say ta. Ta. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 How dare you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How dare you. Say, oh. <laughs> oh. How dare you, you monkey. <gasps> oh. 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 Who did that? Oh. <laughs> did that, that? Say, please. My final healthy habit, because I am going to close this video off now, my final healthy habit that I actually have been putting into practice, I must admit, and I know I make a joke of morning about going shopping and stuff, but I've just, <laughs> I've just been shopping, no. I placed a big online order last night, um, as you will have seen. Charlie! That came this morning. I've just put it away, and what I want to try and keep thinking, instead of mourning about having to keep going shopping and keep doing this and keep doing that, swapping that out by saying, I get to go shopping. I get to fill the fridge for my family to feed our family. You know, it's small blessings like that that some people don't have that that luxury. So it's just keeping things like that in mind. And I do find myself mourning, not so much recently because I am trying to put this into practice, but I have found myself mourning and whinging about stuff that is just so insignificant and, stuff that actually some people are really not that lucky to, to be able to do, you know, like, yes, we have to clean our houses, yes, we have to keep putting the washing on, but we've got clothes to to, to put on, we've got we've got a, a beautiful home to, to get to clean, so it's just being a little bit mindful about how, how I say things and just not whinging as much. <laughs> so yes, I am gonna end this video here. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any healthy habits that I think you could share with the group <laughs> or share with me, then please leave a comment down below and let us all know. Go and follow me over on Instagram. It's at jodebree underscore. <laughs> Please do subscribe if you haven't done already. Click the little notification bell so you get notified every single time that I upload. Excuse me. Do you want to end this um, end this vlog on a little blessing or a healthy habit or have you got anything to say? Uh, no, thank you. You know blessings? No, nothing you no want to share. No, nothing you want to share with the team? No. I have started next week's vlog um, this morning. We've been for breakfast with my dad. It's his birthday tomorrow, so. Uh, we did that and we went to the park and it was really, really nice and very, very wholesome. Honestly, it's been so nice to chill this weekend, don't you think? It's been amazing. Sometimes we're just busy doing this, that and the other and weekends just pass us by and we don't really, we don't really tend to chill that much. So it's been really nice to really not have that many plans. So yes, thank you so much for watching this video and we shall see you in our next one. Bye. Mwah. <laughs> Ronnie's in bed, by the way. He's having a little nap. We are blessed. Blessed, blessed, blessed. Mwah.